Still, as of the 8 a.m. advisory, we still have a tropical storm with max winds at 50 miles per hour. It's still on a quick west-northwestward track now at 15 miles per hour. Want to show you, though, where all of the thunderstorms are clustered and then where that center of circulation is. It is now to the south of the Dominican Republic. You have tropical storm warnings there now. These are areas outlined in orange, but also Puerto Rico and Virgin Islands. That means that uh, hurry, uh, tropical storm conditions are happening happening or imminent in the next 24 hours or so. And now you have the tropical storm watches in yellow for the Bahamas. So that means in the next 36 to 48 hours, we're looking at tropical storm conditions there. As far as rainfall, this has been the big story thus far with Erica. We still have some squally showers here on the eastern end of Puerto Rico, but keep an eye on some of these wind gusts. You have 13 miles per hour in San Juan, not a huge deal, but you are getting gusts to that close to that 30 mile per hour range and still quite far east from the center, the official center location of Erica. And again, you see the lopsidedness with the radar here of all the showers and thunderstorms. That has been the thing with Erica, right? Kind of disorganized. Let's show you where the models continue to show where Erica is headed next. Still a pretty good consensus, but keep in mind these lines, the, how they're clustered, it's a point in space. There's still a pretty wide area of influence potential here, whether it is rain or gusty winds. So that's why with all kind of the, our focus on southern Florida, we still need to keep an eye on, even though it may not be this raging hurricane in the forecast. Yeah, and again, it's all about the models, Maria. And if you're watching us the last, uh, what, this has been named since Monday, the last uh, four or five days here, you've noticed.